Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing a very small topic that is how to handle for text box in Appium by using for WebDriver IO JavaScript. Okay. And here you can able to, if you go for here and Google we are opening, right? I'll open for here, you can, Google and then we are going to key, uh, search something and we can able to keep it for we can able to search something here and we need to keep that name whether it is presented or not that particular field it is having the value or not that simple concept you are going to test it now okay for this I'm going to taking for inspector to get the uh, value for that okay and then and here we to connecting for that particular app anything we can able to like uh, just for connecting for app i'm just i'm going to be doing this one so before connecting the appm inspector we need to run for appm server that is appm server on iphone p 4724 okay once server is connected then we are going to start simple format we are going to check now not much next video session i am going to show you for alerts how we can able to handle it now i am just connecting by using this server Now here I can uh, just I'm going to take for this app um, uh, Chrome. Then we'll write for script first. In input box dot js. Okay, and I, I'll just I'll copy for starting one. Description and all uh, is okay. Yeah, we are already created, right? Just for this Chrome and waiting and waiting three seconds. And here also two seconds and three seconds to click after clicking. And then we need to see for This search box, the search box, we can able to get it from here. And this is my search box resource ID. And we can able to create by the resource ID. Okay. And we'll create for our next path for it. We can provide here the class name, which is input. And here I'm going to make it for same thing i guess this is the one already created right okay we are already created one but we are just getting inside the text whether it is presented or not now we are going to providing for text for that okay and this one i'll remove this also i'll remove and here what we can do just i'll make it for a wait and input a dot add value add value and i can provide for any value here and i'm providing for my name itself current location and then i'm going to check whether that particular text is presented or not in this inside or not not a clicking for anything just i'm going to checking whether that particular location go run is presented inside that or not okay now i make it here and i'll wait for two seconds after entering a value okay if it is working as expected then we can able to wind it this is basically uh accessibility id and this is my xpath and here is the value and we are going to do it for this one 
how to take the accessibility piece just you can able to see uh, here will be there in the starting time we can see here if you refresh here the first page will become if you click here you can see that accessibility id that is a chrome same thing i just inform like tilde operator and after that i use for chrome and then i'm clicking for the browser that particular one and then here i am clicking for xpar for text box okay and this text box and the text box i'm going to enter the text box whether we are entered or not in the text box we are going to validate it. okay before that running we need to collapse everything because we need to connect everything right that's why just now i'm going to take it here input box dot json file and if you see now if it is whether it is working as expected we can able to get error uh, success otherwise we will get for error message this is a simple concept just i'm going to just adding for how we can able to add the text into your text box location We are clicking and just we are entered Gorandla location, right? You can able to see Gorandla location is entered and test case got passed because we are able to validate that both the things. Okay, we are able to validate also because we are provided the proper, that's why it is able to validate and it is success that particular one okay this is a simple concept how to add the text into a text box in case if you want to search something like here you need to make it for some enter you need to make the enter then only it will search or else if you see this is a name right whether if it is perfectly it is presented or not like that also we can able to okay this is the simplest way we can able to verify by using the text. If you want to enter, if you want to take something and you can able to inspect particular element and then you can able to verify it. Okay. This is all about for input, input validating inside the text box. Okay. How to entering that. And next video session, we'll learn about how to validate for alerts. Alerts, how we can able to do it and all I will see for simple example. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.